one last plant assay before we hit the house in a warm lunch is the skeletal remains of maidenhair ferns. Notice the pinnae, the small little divided sections of the fronds look like old-fashioned hair combs, thus made in hair. And the black, slick black, shiny, thin stems. Very, very early prevascular plants made in hair ferns were used in many hair remedies, scalp remedies, and also in some old Appalachian cold and cough formulas. You can look into some of Bill Bass's old formula. There's one of my botanizing kitty cats sitting on my beautiful moss-covered effigy in the woods and there is some wild grape remains. Another tasty treat in the Appalachian Forest. Hey Skinny, say hi. This is botany cat number one. The other black and white one is Littles. They assist me a lot. So get out your backyard and beyond and enjoy the forests, enjoy your herbal heritage, and take advantage of free wild and very healthy foods. You can join us in this study um, through Appalachian Fundamentals of Edible and Medicinal Plants. We have two outings this spring with Paul Strauss uh, on Equinox Botanicals property and as well as at the United Plant Savers Sanctuary. You could also support us by being a supporter of Sanctity of Sanctuary, a beautiful movie about Paul Strauss and his appreciation, love, and willingness to share the green spark. You can look for us on HopewoodHolisticHealth.com or Becca Herb Travel at Yahoo.com and give us a call, give us an email. Check us out on Facebook. We look forward to working with you. Namaste.